Titans Talk here on News Channel 5 Plus. I'm Jonathan Hutton. Uh, coming up, we'll hear from offensive lineman Taylor Lewan and Harry Douglas, a wide receiver who hopes to get back in the Titans lineup this week. One player who will be questionable right now is Kendall Wright, who hurt his knee in yesterday's game against the Texans. Uh, I know. I had a got. I got an MRI uh, this morning. I don't know where it says yet. They called me and let me know. So I don't know how I'm looking for this week. Really, I, I really don't. How does it feel today? Horrible. I never had. I never really hurt my hurt myself like this. So it's not a good feeling. What uh, I guess sorry to come in late, Kendall. But I guess there's a report. There's a MCL sprain. Is that is that accurate? You know or. Yeah, about as accurate as I know right now. When it rains, it pours around here, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, when it rains, it pours, period. <laughs> so, yeah. This season, I mean, some people feel like it's already a lost season. you think it's too early to say something like that, or does it feel like it to you, too? I mean, it can't really be a lost season. We need two games, by two and a half games behind in the division, and we still have a lot of division games left. So, I think it's a, we, got, we got a chance. I mean, yeah, I think we got a chance. People are counting us out, but two and a half games behind in the division, I mean, the division is wide open. How do you keep guys from getting discouraged, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't really see pe uh, any other guys getting discouraged. I mean, we're we're in every game. I mean, it's not like we're just going and getting blew out. I mean, we're in every game. We have a chance at some point in those games to make a difference in it and uh, uh, help get us over the hump. Ken, do you have any idea yet how long it might keep you out, the, the injury? Or? I don't have any idea, but I don't like watching, so I do what I can to get back out there as fast as I can. Have you ever had an injury like this at any level before, or is this the first? This is the first. I mean, but as long as I do my treatment and whatever I have to do, I'm I'm going to try to get back out there as fast as I can. I mean, a lot. I mean, I love my teammates. Um, they're like my brothers, and you don't like to see them go through things alone. You always want to be there with them 100% no matter what it is. But um, I'm optimistic I'll be out there this week. How much of a, uh, assuming you are able to do it, yeah. pretty timely with, with maybe Kendall's status up in the air as mm -hmm. well? Would that, would that be a big boost, you know, you coming in and giving him an extra receiver here? I mean, no matter what, I want to play regardless. <laughs> right, right. I right. mean, I mean, the time, I, mean, the time I, I missed, I mean, I wanted to play, but I physically wasn't able to. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, we've been doing a great job in treatment every day, and being able to get me in a position so I can be able to go out there and play. And um, it's going to start, well, start did today. I did some running, I did some things, and some stuff from resistance work on the Kaiser machine. So we'll come in tomorrow, do some work, and then start on Wednesday. Some is, people who follow the team already feel like this is a lost season. Mm -hmm. you feel like it's too early to say something like that? That's why they follow. <laughs> I mean, you play the game of football, you always got to feel like you have a chance no matter what. Or, I mean, I don't want to play with you. I mean, I feel like in every situation, we always have a chance. And um, that's how confident I am about the guys we have here. And I mean, don't get me wrong, we've been doing some good things also. It's just that we, we, got, we got to cut down the mistakes, cut down the penalties, turnovers, and that, that, that'll get us over the hump. What you hearing on, on Kendall, anything uh, anything good? Oh, no, I don't, I don't really speak about nobody else's uh, injury, so. Right. I mean, you got to ask Kendall about that. Gotcha. Yeah. Back to yours. Is it just a matter of how much soreness you can play with, or is it, or you you have to wait and just kind of see if it continues to progress? I mean, it was one of those things. I mean, it was it was really really hurting. I mean, at first, and then the following week, it, I mean, it wasn't what we thought it would be for me to be able to get out there and play. And uh, over the weekend, it's been doing really good. So I'm, I'm confident about this week. Coming down to, you know, man on man kind of stuff. Yeah, it's going to be man on man kind of stuff. If I was a defense, the first thing I do is put five guys in the line, have every guy do one on ones. You know, um, you know, when that stuff happens, you can't have guys help other guys. Um, you know, being a leader on this team and being a a person that is voted as a captain by his teammates, I have to be better. I have to play better, and I think I've done my job. You know, consistently for the last six games, and this past game was just uh, definitely not myself. So 
you know, I apologized to my teammates after the game before y'all came in, and it's obviously frustrating, but. I mean, we're going to fix these things. It's really just a confidence thing, confidence and chemistry. If these guys get it together, I mean, if, sorry, if we get it together and uh, play as a unit, uh, we're, I mean, there have been less talented team, lots of lines that have played a lot better. It's just a matter of us doing it now. JJ, I guess, was saying after the game, he was surprised at how many one-on-one -on -one opportunities he got. In your mind, was there a lot, and should there have been more? Um, the, I mean, there was a couple where, it was supposed to be maybe just a miscommunication. Um, you know, I didn't see him the whole game, so I couldn't really tell you. There was, should have been a couple more double teams here and there, but you know, this offensive line's talented enough to block anybody one on one. It's just a matter of having that confidence and uh, playing, playing through the whistle and taking first and down as an first and second down as an opportunity to really, you know. Try to punish them, guys. No, you're not. A, you're not an excuse maker. No, I'm not. A, How much is the left shoulder bugging you in terms of keeping you from playing 100? percent Well, you kind of put me in a hole because anything I say now makes it sound like I'm making an excuse. No. I, <laughs> I think um, you know it's it's a matter of me getting in, getting treatment, and uh, being as healthy as I can possibly be for this team. And, you know, on Sundays, it doesn't have an asterisk on the film saying, hey, this guy's got an injury. I mean, it's going to the eighth game of the season. Everyone's hurt. Everyone's beat up a little bit. And it's just a matter of me doing what I have to do to be the player that I want to be and have been excited from this game. Tell you, think that maybe the frustration level reached an all-time high yesterday. Yeah, I think it did. I, I, I was definitely really upset. Maybe took it out on you guys a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to apologize for that because... You guys are the media, and <laughs> I'm never going to apologize to you guys ever. But, but, but the team seemed like a lot of guys. No, it, it's, I mean, you look at this, and we could be, we're, we're a good team, and I know our, our record doesn't show that, the stats don't show that, but we've done good things. And we've been very few points away from lots of wins. So, you know, this team's not going to give up. This defense has been really holding us to some games. we got to get going on the offense. Do you guys collectively as an offense, I mean, you feel like you've let the defense down the last few games? I think we have. I think we have let the, the, the defense down. And um, the defense is so into it. They want to play so hard for us. I mean, if you watch on uh, Antonio's 27-yard run on the right side, you got guys jumping up and down, excited starters. You know, they're not resting. They're watching. They're excited. So, um, you know, we owe the defense a lot of a lot of points. You mentioned play with confidence. Mm -hmm. How do you get that at this point when you're one in six and have had the struggles you guys have had up front at times? It's doing it in practice. Um, if, you, if you do things in practice and you do things consistently and you're doing it the right way going into a game, you're going to feel good about yourself. If your set's right, your punches are right. And if they're not during practice, then you get out and you do you know, sets and punches on air. And if you, I mean, you do enough of those things, you can work so hard. You get to a game, you have no choice but to be confident. Are you guys consistent in practice? I mean, is it just not translating to Sundays, or are there some issues you see in practice as well? Um, I bet there's some things translating. We just need to be better. We have to be more focused on one play at a time. You know, and if we can do that, we'll be better. It seems like.